Tanshi Imperialism Part 1 And Gola. Let's see which side are they gonna attack. Hmm, <laughs> Southwest. Let's see that on the map. Since we're Earth Flutters, it hits Greenland, aka Denmark. So let's see if Angola can overtake Denmark. Yes, they can. So now Angola is a neighbor with Canada and a lot of European nations. Let's see the next country. And it's Angola again, are you kidding me? Okay, at least this time they attack southeast. So it seems like Angola is attacking Zambia. Let's see if Angola's military can destroy Zambia. And no, they can't. So Zambia won. All of the sudden, Zambia has Greenland and Denmark. The mighty Liechtenstein. And it seems like they're gonna attack Austria. Let's see if they can take it. And no, they can't. So they're not even visible on the map. So Liechtenstein, gone. Week 1 of imperialism is over. Subscribe so you won't miss your country. Oh! Country Battle Royale Part 2 In the last part, Zambia took Greenland and Angola. And it seems like it's gonna be Costa Rica. They attack Northwest, which is definitely Nicaragua. Let's see if they can win. Nope. So the battle in Central America ends with a victory of Nicaragua. So the next country is Chile. And they're gonna attack Southeast, which is Argentina, so good luck, Messi. So everyone in South America watch this, and Chile won. So Chile is now suddenly bigger than India. Now we're gonna have Botswana. And bros wanna attack East, so it's slightly South Africa. Bros with their elephants fought in South Africa, and they managed to win, so now they own a bunch of land. And the last fight of this week, it's gonna be Portugal, and they're gonna go southeast. So they attack Spain. The battle of the Iberia Peninsula goes to Portugal. So now, Cristiano Ronaldo is the only GOAT left. We lost Spain, South Africa, Costa Rica, and Argentina. Subscribe. Country Battle Royale, part 3. Please don't be Botswana. Okay, that was close, but it's Bosnia Herzegovina. They're gonna attack southwest, so they attack Croatia. Will they take their bitches back? Yes! So now finally, Bosnia has a much larger coastline. Next country is gonna be Tajikistan. The, they attack east, so they actually indirectly attack China. Oh, let's see the war. And actually Tajikistan won. So now Tajikistan is the second largest country in the world. The next country is Turkey and they have a lot of bread so they should win. They are gonna attack east, so they attack Armenia. Let's see if the Ottoman Empire can win. And no, they can't. So. Armenia is now pretty big. And the final country for this week is gonna be Monaco. I mean, they're pretty rich, so I, I guess they can win. Let's find out. They're gonna attack Algeria, so this is gonna be a tough opponent, but... Nope. Lol, yeah, we can just get rid of Monaco. So this week we lost China, Monaco, Turkey, and Croatia. Country Battle Royale, part four. So today we're gonna get started with Luxembourg. And they're a microstate and they're gonna attack East, so they attack Germany. Bros chose violence, but they didn't win. So just like that, Luxembourg is also gone. Next country is gonna be Italy. And they're gonna attack West, so they attack the Course Island, which belongs to France. Oh my god, this is gonna be so insane and Italy win. So now Italy is so huge. It was so close to being Pakistan, but it's oh man. Yeah, I'm joking, it's Oman. They're gonna attack Northeast, so they attack Iran. This is gonna be an interesting battle, but it goes to Iran. So now Iran is pretty big as well. And the final country for this week is gonna be Andorra, another microstate. They're gonna attack Southwest, so they attack Portugal. There's no more Spain. And uh, Andorra loses again. Bro, it's a tough day for microstates. Week 4 is done, we lost France, Luxembourg, Andorra, and Oman. Subscribe. Country Battle Royale, part 5. So we're gonna get started with Azerbaijan. They're gonna attack South, which means they attack Iran and not Iran. Let's see if they can win, and yes they can. So now the supremacy of Iran is gone, and Azerbaijan also has Oman. Next country is gonna be... Oh god, not Moldova. That's my country. We're gonna attack East, which means we attack... Ukraine. Bro, if we win, nah, no way. <sighs> I'm gonna cry all night. Ukraine is pretty big though. Now we're gonna have an interesting one. Seychelles. They're gonna attack Northeast, which means they attack Pakistan. Let's see if they can win against Pakistan, and no they can't. So Pakistan is now in Africa as well. Next we're gonna have Nigeria, and they're gonna attack North. Oh god, this is gonna be so controversial. Let's see if Nigeria can win. Uh, no, they can't. So now Niger is near the Giga Chat. 
This is the map after week 5. We lost Iran, Moldova, Seychelles, and Nigeria. Country Battle Royale, part 6. We're gonna get started with Australia. Finally a country in Oceania. We're gonna attack west, which means we go all the way to Botswana. Botswana has a lot of elephants, and with that, they actually beat Australia. Next country is gonna be Eswatini. Hopefully they don't attack Botswana, and yes, they actually attack Mozambique, there is no way. Let's see if they can win, and yes, they can. I didn't know people in Eswatini were that smart. Now we're gonna go back to Central America, and it's gonna be Panama. They're gonna attack Southeast, and that is Colombia. Let's see if they can join South America, and yes, they can. So, now they're big as Nicaragua. Nice. The final country for today is gonna be Ireland. They're gonna attack North, so that's Greenland. Oh, I mean Zambia. Let's see if Ireland can win, and yes, they can. They literally just used their shamrocks, and now they own so much land. Today we had an African colonialism, and we lost Australia, Zambia, Colombia, and Mozambique. Country Battle Royale, part 7. We're gonna get started with Egypt. That is very interesting. They're gonna attack South, and they attack Sudan. Egypt has a lot of camels, and with that they actually win and now they own the most pyramids in the world. Now it's gonna be Vietnam and they're gonna attack Northeast. They slightly attack Tajikistan. Let's see if they can win. Yes, they can. So now Vietnam is certainly the second biggest country in the world. Now we're gonna have Tonga, oh my god. They're gonna attack Southwest and that is, uh, yeah, it's New Zealand. That was a lot of math. Let's see if they can win and no, they can't. So. New Zealand is winning. The final country is Peru. They're gonna attack East. So that is Brazil. Oh, this is an exciting battle. And it goes to Brazil. So the kingdom of Brazil is becoming bigger and bigger. Today was an interesting day and we lost Sudan, Tajikistan, Tonga and Peru. Country Battle Royale, part 8. We're gonna get started with Estonia. They're gonna attack South. So they attack Latvia. That's an interesting battle in the Baltics. And it goes to Latvia, bros are much taller. The upcoming country is Belgium, and they're also gonna attack South, so they attack Italy. Belgium is trying to convince Italy with their french fries, but Denied. the Roman Empire keeps extending. The next country is Barbados, okay. They're gonna attack North, it took me a while to find them, but they're gonna attack Canada. Well, if they win, oh my god. Barbados is now the third largest country in the world. The fourth country is gonna be Uganda, and they're gonna attack Northwest, so they attack South Sudan. South Sudan have some experience, and they win. The fifth battle is gonna be between Ecuador, they're also gonna attack Northwest, and that's Panama, the country that took Peru in the last video, but they're gone as Ecuador takes them. The final country is gonna be Morocco, and for some reason everyone keeps attacking South, so they attack Mauritania. This is a colossal battle in Africa, but Morocco wins, so Morocco is now much larger. And look at the coastline they have, that's insane! As you guys realize, this is a longer video, let me know if you guys want more of these. In this video, we lost Uganda, Canada, Panama, Mauritania, Estonia, and Belgium. Follow for more. Country Battle Royale, part 9. We're gonna get started with United Kingdom. Bros are gonna attack South, and that is Italy. Let's see if United Kingdom can convince Italy with their tea. And no, they can't, so the Roman Empire keeps extending. The next country is Samoa. They're gonna attack Northeast. And that is Mexico. Let's see if there is any surprise, and there is. So Samoa now joins Barbados, and United States is getting sandwiched. Now we have Trinidad and Tobago, and they're gonna attack West. And they attack Venezuela. Let's see if they can win. And no, they can't. So Venezuela keeps extending. Now we have Laos, a battle in Asia. They're gonna attack South. And that is Thailand. And uh, this is interesting. But it goes to Laos. So Laos is getting bigger and bigger. Bros are using their bombs they have on their territory. Now we're gonna have Dominican Republic, also close to Brazil. They're gonna attack East. And that is Morocco. It was so close to being on the straight. That's insane. Let's see if they can beat Morocco. No, they can't. So Morocco is now Central America. The final country for today is gonna be Venezuela again. Okay, they're gonna attack South. And that is Brazil. Let's see if Venezuela can win twice. Oh my God, they actually did. So Venezuela, oh. <laughs> they have half of South America now. 
So today we lost some enormous countries like Mexico, Brazil, UK, Thailand, as well as Dominican Republic and Trinidad and Tobago. Follow for more. Country Battle Royale Part 10 So we're finally at the Part 10 and we're gonna start with Tunisia. They're gonna attack South and they attack Libya. That's an interesting battle to begin with. Let's see if Tunisia can take Libya's oil and they can't. So now Libya has a much larger coastline. Nice. nice. Next country is Marshall Island. No matter what, they have to go over the ocean and they attack Japan. Bro, if Marshall Islands wins, I'm done. Okay, they didn't. So Japan is now in Oceania. Next is Austria. Let's see if they use their beer. They're gonna attack East and they actually attack Hungary. Oh my God. Okay, they actually won. So now they own the Austro-Hungarian Empire. It's bad, guys. I think this is the fourth country and it's Madagascar. And they attack south. So they have to go through the ocean where Earth flutters and it hits Norway. Madagascar is gonna use its lemurs, but they still didn't win. So now Holland is also in Africa. Now we're gonna have Kuwait, finally a country in Asia. Kuwait is gonna use its sand and attack Iraq. Let's see if Iraq can hold it unlike Iran and no they can't so Kuwait is getting bigger. That's a lot of action not gonna lie and it's Norway. Oh my god bros keep on extending. They're gonna attack south and they attack Sweden. Oh my god Scandinavian in action. <laughs> Bro rip Norway. Now PewDiePie is probably living in Madagascar. So in this video, we lost Norway, Iraq, Madagascar, Hungary, Tunisia, and Marshall Islands. Country Battle Royale Part 11. We're gonna get started with Finland, another Nordic country. They're gonna attack West and they attack Sweden. This is the battle for all of the Nordics. Let's see. And Finland lost. They didn't convince Sweden with their saunas and cha cha cha. So I guess Sweden are the underrated ones. Now we're gonna have Russia. Oh my god, finally. They're gonna attack South, and look who they attack. They attack Mongolia. Oh my goodness. Let's see if they can win. And no, they can't. So the Mongol Empire is back, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I do the directions from the middle of the country. We're gonna have Slovenia, and they attack North, and they attack the newly formed Austria. Let's see if they can win. No, they can't. So Austria keeps extending. Now we have Senegal. It was so close to being Taiwan. They're gonna attack Northeast. And they attack Morocco. Oh my god, okay. Let's see if they can win. Yes, they can. So now Morocco is unfortunately gone. Press F for Morocco. Now we have Papua New Guinea. And they're also gonna attack Northeast. And they attack Micronesia. Wow, that's actually pretty perfect. Yes, they win. So now Papua New Guinea have some islands as well. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Azerbaijan again. They're gonna attack East. And it's so close, but they attack Afghanistan. Let's see if they can win. Yes, they can. So now they are neighbors with two of the biggest countries in the country battle royale. Finally, Cyprus are gonna go south and they attack Israel. Okay, let's see if they beat Israel. Yes, okay. So they now have some land in the Middle East as well. This turned out to be so interesting. So in part 11, we lost some important countries like Russia, Morocco, Finland, Slovenia, Micronesia, Afghanistan, and Israel, USA are still in. Follow for more. Country Battle Royale, part 12. In this part, we actually made a change and you guys will see it later. We have Serbia and they're gonna attack West and they attack the newly formed Bosnia. And this is the new system. There is a percentage now, but it's 50-50 and Serbia unfortunately lost. So Bosnia takes it. Now we're gonna have Nepal. Nepal is gonna attack East and they attack India. Finally, India is getting involved. And uh, they have a 40% chance to win and they unfortunately lost, so India is expanding. Now we have Dominica, it was so close to being India, they're gonna attack West. And this is so close, but they attack Samoa. Let's see if they can take it back, they have 40% and yes they won! So now Dominica takes the old taco land back. We have Sri Lanka, oh my god, are they gonna attack India? Nope, they're gonna attack South and since it's hard to measure, they're gonna attack Mongolia. They have a 35% chance and they unfortunately lost, so Mongolia is now near India, oh my god. Oh yes, Azerbaijan again. Please win Azerbaijan, they're gonna attack North, they attack Turkmenistan. It should be an easy challenge for Azerbaijan, right? Azerbaijan guys. Press F for Azerbaijan, Turkmenistan. Uh, now we have Liberia, they're gonna attack North and they slightly attack Guinea. Let's see if they can win. Mm, 
no they can't so guinea is now surrounding sierra leone we have senegal okay a huge country they're gonna attack northwest and we go through the ocean they attack ireland because they own greenland it's a 50 50 and it goes to senegal i have a lot of fans from ireland so rip you guys so this episode was quite sad we lost countries like ireland liberia serbia nepal sri lanka samoa and the saddest one azerbaijan country battle royale part 13 what happened to the music oh god we have bosnia this is like the third video of bosnia they're gonna attack north and they attack austria bro austria won back to back and they won again oh my god the austro-hungarian empire is forming guys and now we have oh no they are joining the chat they're gonna attack west and they attack italy well i can already see what is gonna happen but maybe italy can surprise <sighs> No, they can't. We're back to 1940s. Why are these so perfect if we compare it to history? We have Laos, they're gonna attack East, and they attack Vietnam. Oh my god, another crazy one. And Laos won! So Vietnam, just like that, is replaced by Laos. What is happening? We have Nicaragua. Nicaragua is gonna attack Northwest, and that is Honduras. Let's see if they can take any territory. They can! This is like their third time winning. This is an insane video for countries that won in previous parts. Now we have St. Kitts and Nevis. That's a new country. They're gonna attack South, and they exactly attack Dominica. But keep in mind, Dominica is Mexico. But they still didn't win, so they're gone. We have another saint, and this time it's Lucia. They're gonna attack South, and they attack Venezuela. Bro, if they win, they're gonna conquer a lot of South Africa, but they didn't win. This part was one of the best parts I've ever done, and Italy unfortunately lost, as well as Bosnia and Herzegovina. Yeah, rip them. Vietnam, that was a big country. Honduras, Saint Lucia, and Saint Kitts and Nevis. Countries like the USA, Indonesia, and India are still chilling. Country Battle Royale, part 14. We're gonna get started with Turkmenistan. It was so close to USA. They're gonna attack Southwest, and that is Kuwait. Keep in mind, Turkmenistan took Azerbaijan, but they suck, so Kuwait is now massive, guys. Look at that. They also own some land in Oman. We have Cambodia, it was so close to USA. No matter what, I think they attacked Laos, and that is true. So let's see if Laos can continue winning. They can, wow. Even with their temples, Cambodia lost. We have Papua New Guinea, they're gonna attack West, and that is Indonesia. Let's see if Papua New Guinea can win against Indonesia. No, they can't, so Papua New Guinea lost. They probably got trapped in a volcano or something, so Indonesia is now huge. Now we have Jordan. Jordan is gonna attack Southwest, and that is Egypt. Egypt. If Egypt win, they win. Wow, their camels are actually working. Look at that territory they have, that's insane. We have Paraguay. Okay, a country in South America. You guessed it. They're gonna attack Southwest, and that is Chile. Finally, Chile is getting involved. And uh, finally, a uh, yes. And Paraguay takes Chile. If you realize, the whole video was with no's, but finally, a uh, yes. We have Suriname. They're gonna attack Southeast, if I'm correct. That's French Guyana. Oh, it's actually German Guyana. If they win, they actually win against Germany, but they didn't win. So just like that, there is no more Suriname. And we have Guyana and German Guyana. So, in part 14, we lost some medium-sized countries like Suriname, Jordan, Turkmenistan, Cambodia, Chile, and Papua New Guinea. Subscribe for more. Country Battle Royale, part 15. We're gonna get started with Chad, the Giga Chad. They're gonna attack West, and that is Niger, if you remember from the previous video. And they actually won, so the Giga Chad, guys, it's massive, it's just like Egypt. The next country is United Arab Emirates. They're gonna attack also East, and that is Saudi Arabia. Let's see if UAE are gonna use their Habibi power. No, they didn't. So Saudi Arabia now takes UAE. The next country is Lithuania. Okay, they're gonna attack North, and that is Latvia. This is the battle for the Baltics, guys. Let's see if Lithuania can win, because Latvia are pretty tall. No, they can't. So Latvia just took all of the Baltics. Congratulations to Latvian people. Now we have uh, North Macedonia. was so close to Laos. They're gonna attack East, and that is Bulgaria. This is an interesting battle, and it goes to North Macedonia. So now they have a connection to the Black Sea. Congratulations. That's interesting. Now we have... Mali was so close to Pakistan, they're gonna attack south, and that is Burkina Faso. Let's see if Mali can win the Ouagadougou land. Yeah, that's the capital of Burkina Faso, and they didn't win, so Ouagadougou is now the capital of this huge country. 
The final country for today is gonna be Burundi and they're gonna attack North. That's exactly Rwanda. Let's see if Burundi can win despite being poor. No, they can't. So Rwanda just took Burundi, so there is no more Burundi. Unlike the last video, in this episode we only had battles in Africa and Europe. And we lost Burundi, Lithuania, Bulgaria, Niger, UAE, and Mali. Follow for more. Country Battle Royale Part 16. We're gonna get started with Yemen. Okay, another country in the Middle East. They're gonna attack East. And if we go for the ocean, that is Indonesia again. Let's see if they can win back to back. They can. So now Indonesia is near Saudi Arabia and Ethiopia. Wow. Oh, we have Pakistan. Oh. Oh my god, you're attacking me. Oh no, I'm creating World War 3, guys. I'm not gonna commentate over this. Let's see if Pakistan can win. No, they can't. So, it's a victory for India. Guys, this is not real life, by the way. <laughs> Next, we have Ecuador. Ecuador is gonna attack North, and that is Venezuela. If they win, they take pretty much all of South America, but they lost. So, Venezuela... Look at Venezuela now. We have North Korea. Oh my god. Kim Jong-un is gonna attack Southwest and that is Laos. There's no way they take Laos. Laos survived so many rockets. See? See? I told you. Laos is... This is the current map. Feel free to pause it. Country Battle Royale. Part 17. Let's get right into it. We have Dominica. Keep in mind Dominica is basically Mexico and they attack North and United States gets involved. Guys, let's see if Dominica can win. Drum rolls. Yes, they can. So United States, just like that, is gone. I guess the eagle creatures didn't work. Now it's Libya, they're gonna attack East, and that is Egypt. Egypt won everything so far, and they won again. Oh my god, this seems like it's made up, but it's actually random. And now it's Uzbekistan's turn, and uh, this is probably the last stand left. They're gonna attack Southeast, and that is Laos. I think Uzbekistan is also gone, exactly. So, just like that. Laos is getting into Asia. We have Poland. Okay, people ask for Poland. Just like everyone, they attack East, so they attack Latvia. This is very interesting. And Poland lost, so Latvia just took Poland. But I think Poland should be happy that they didn't get attacked from the West. Country Battle Royale, part 18. Let's just get right into it. We're gonna start with Czechia. Czechia is gonna attack East, so they attack the newly formed Latvia, which took Poland. Let's see if they can win. No, so they didn't convince Latvia with their beer because Latvia are more alcoholic. We have Dominica. Dominica is gonna attack South and they attack Barbados. If they win, they take the whole North America. Yes, they did. So we can say that they are for sure the biggest country in the world. They have to be. We have Portugal. Portugal are gonna attack North and they attack Germany. Let's see if Cristiano Ronaldo can convince Germany. I mean the 1942 Germany. No, he can't. So Germany is now extending again. Oh my god. We have Armenia. Okay, they own Turkey and they attack South. So they attack Syria. Let's see if they can win. They can. Wow. So yeah, they're extending. This is how the map looks. Subscribe for more. Country Battle Royale Part 19. We're gonna get started with Kuwait. They're pretty rich. They're gonna attack North and they're gonna attack another enormous country. Laos that won everything so far. Let's see if Kuwait can bribe them. They can. They use their Kuwaitini Dinar and now they're huge as Mongolia. The Democratic Republic of Congo is gonna attack Senegal. Senegal is on three continents. But the Democratic Republic of Congo won. So just like that, they took the territory, which is Zambia, Morocco, Greenland, as well as Ireland. Look at that. The next country is gonna be Maldives. Okay, Maldives is very rich. They're gonna attack East, and they're gonna attack the volcano land, which is Indonesia. Let's see if they can win. No, they can't. So the next country is Guinea, and this is actually the last country. They're gonna attack Northeast, and that is Burkina Faso. Let's see if Burkina Faso can win. Yes, the Ouagadougou land just took Guinea and keeps extending. So, this is the map after 19 parts. Germany looking kinda sus. Country Battle Royale, part 20. There is no way, we're already at the part 20. We have Ghana, Ghana is gonna attack North, and that is the Ouagadougou land, which is getting involved in every video. Let's see if Ghana can win. They can! Wow, the Coffin Dance people just destroyed the Ouagadougou land. They had to come at some point, oh no. Okay, they're attacking Northwest, and that is Iceland. Iceland is getting involved, if we consider from the middle of country. Oh my god, Germany lost. 
Look at Iceland! Bros probably got trapped in an Icelanding volcano. <laughs> we have Bolivia. Bolivia is gonna attack West and that is Paraguay. Let's see if they can win. They can't, so Paraguay is pretty much the only country in Venezuela. Now we have Qatar and Bahrain and both of them are attacking Kuwait. Kuwait are so rich and they keep winning. In this video, we'll ask Burkina Faso, Germany, Bolivia, Qatar, and Bahrain. Exactly 100 countries are left. Follow for more. Country Battle Royale, part 21. We're gonna get started with Vatican City. Okay, the Pope is joining the chat. They're gonna attack North, and actually, no matter what, they attack Iceland. Let's see if Iceland can hold it. <laughs> they can't, so Vatican City is now back to its glory times, if you remember. Now we have Algeria, people asked for Algeria, so here we go. They attack the Democratic Republic of Congo, the country that is on three different continents. Let's see if they can win, they can! So look at that! Algeria brought some sand in Greenland, Northern Africa and Central Africa. Now we have Grenada and Grenada is gonna attack North and that is perfect for Venezuela. If they win, they take the whole land of Venezuela. But they don't, because Venezuela are gods. Now we have Dominica. Oh my god, you guys don't realize how huge this country is. They're gonna attack Southeast, and that is Namibia. Imagine it was Algeria again. And they win! I don't know what Dominica has, but they keep on winning. And Iceland's European glory is perished. Country Battle Royale, part 22. The first country is gonna be Guatemala. Finally a new country. They're gonna attack Southwest, and they have to go through the ocean to the Kiwi land, which is New Zealand. Let's see if Guatemala can win. Mm, no, they can't. So the Kiwi land is now in Central America. The next country is gonna be Malta. Okay, there was a person which kept asking for Malta. And they attack Albania. Let's see if Malta can win. They can. Malta are now joining the Balkans. Wow. Okay, New Zealand again. Okay, they wanna attack now. They attack North, and that is exactly Vanuatu. They like aimed for it. And they actually won. So look at that. They keep extending on these islands. <laughs> Okay, less countries in Oceania. We have Malawi. Malawi is gonna attack Southwest and that is Eswatini. But let's see if they can win. They can't. I told you, Eswatini are 300 IQ. They didn't attack Botswana at the beginning. So in this video, we lost Guatemala, the birthplace of chocolate, Albania, Vanuatu, and Malawi. Country Battle Royale, part 23. The first country is gonna be Cyprus, okay, they're gonna attack North and that is Armenia, the country that took Turkey and Syria. Let's see if Cyprus can win, they can, wow, so look at that, Cyprus is now huge, they also have Israel from a previous part. Now we have Sweden, okay, this video is insane, we have Notch and PewDiePie and they're gonna attack North and they attack Latvia, wow, this battle is insane. But Notch and PewDiePie successfully conquer Latvia's Poland and Baltics. Now we have Taiwan, no, no. <laughs> and of course they attack West, they attack Kuwait. Kuwait won like six battles, I'ma put it on screen, and they win again. Wow, okay, Taiwan is gone. The fourth and final country is Romania, there is an taken there, they're gonna attack North, and they attack Ukraine. Bro, I'm from Moldova, so I'm gonna be neutral. Wow, Zelensky did it. This is a simulation, by the way. A lot of you guys are gonna cry about this part, but Armenia, Latvia, Taiwan, and Romania are gone. Country Battle Royale, part 24. We're gonna begin this video with Sierra Leone. Okay, a country in Africa. They're gonna attack North, and that is Ghana. Ghana won so many battles, but unfortunately they lose this one. So we can say that Sierra Leone didn't fall a victim of the coffin then. Now we have Greece. Okay, Greece. They're attacking also North, and that is slightly North Macedonia. Let's see if Alexander the Great can win. They can. Wow. So look at that. They're reforming the Macedonian Empire. That's intriguing. Now we have Central African Republic. Okay, and they're gonna attack West. And that is actually funny because it's Chad. So it's a car versus a Chad, and the car apparently wins. So just like that, we have a car in Africa. There were so many battles in Africa, and there is another one. Now we have Rwanda. They are also gonna attack West, and they attack Algeria. If they win, Rwanda is gonna be on three different continents, but they lost. In this video, we'll ask Rwanda, Chad, Greece, and Ghana. The Philippines are still chilling, according to my comment. Country Battle Royale, part 25. This video is crazy, make sure you watch it till the end. Okay, we have Tuvalu, and they're gonna attack East. We have to go through the ocean, and that is Paraguay. Paraguay is the second biggest country in South America, but it isn't anymore, as Tuvalu is now the second biggest country in South America. Botswana, okay. Botswana is an OG to this series. 
you're gonna attack Dominica. Wow, guys. Dominica owns the whole land of North America, but now it is finally replaced by Botswana. Botswana also owns Australia. That's insane. We have Djibouti. Djibouti is gonna attack Southwest and that is Ethiopia. Let's see if Ethiopia is gonna use its coffee to defend it didn't work out, so Djibouti just took Ethiopia. And the final country for today is Saudi Arabia. And they're gonna attack Kuwait, guys. This is the battle I was talking about. Let's see if Saudi Arabia can finally win against Kuwait. They can't. Look at Kuwait, guys. Six battles are officially won by Kuwait. What a video. Country Battle Royale, part 26. The first country is gonna be Bangladesh, and they're gonna attack North, and that is India. Let's see if India can continue growing that empire. They can, so... History is repeating itself guys, I don't know how. We have Djibouti, Djibouti is getting in more videos and they're gonna attack South, they attack Kenya. Let's see if Djibouti can still win, yeah they can. So now Djibouti has the most long distance runners in the world because it's took Kenya. We have Bahamas and of course they're gonna attack West and that is Botswana. Botswana is the largest country by far, but it isn't anymore as Bahamas used their gorgeous beaches in order to take all of these countries. And finally, the last country is gonna be Nauru, and they're gonna attack West, which means they attack Indonesia. Let's see if Indonesia can still resist, and they can. Indonesia now owns so many of these islands. That's insane. Countries like the Philippines, Switzerland, and Kazakhstan are still yet to be fought by someone. In this video, we lost Nauru, Botswana, Kenya, and Bangladesh. Country Battle Royale, part 27. The first country is gonna be Guinea-Bissau, by the way, I'm finally back from exams, so I have more time. It's gonna be East, and that is Sierra Leone. This region is getting involved in every video, but again, Sierra Leone is gone, so Guinea-Bissau now takes it. We have Austria, ooh, this is an interesting one. They're gonna attack Southeast, and that is Montenegro. Okay, let's see if Austria can still keep extending. Keep. They can't, so just like that, Montenegro just took all of this. Goodbye, Austro-Hungarian Empire. It was a pleasure. Now we have Equatorial Guinea, and they're gonna attack East, and that is Guinea-Bissau again. Why is this region getting involved so much? And Guinea-Bissau actually wins, so they keep it. They're probably the last Guinea left. We have Kuwait, oh, actually San Marino. And no matter what, they attack Vatican. Let's see if they can take the post. Oh my god, they can't. Therefore, this is so funny because San Marino has the worst football national team and they represent pretty much all of you. Vatican City, Equatorial Guinea, Sierra Leone, and Austria are gone. Country Battle Royale, part 28. The first country is gonna be El Salvador, the country of volcanoes, and they're gonna attack West. And that is actually New Zealand, Kiwi land. Let's see if Kiwis can win. Yeah, they can, so yeah, they pretty much just took all of the volcanoes of El Salvador. Now we have Japan. <laughs> They're gonna attack North. Oh my god, guys, this battle is massive. It's against Mongolia. Let's see if they win. No, they can't. So apparently the anime girls didn't help them. Hence, they didn't learn their lesson from previous Okay, We have Cameroon. Let's see if this guy correctly predicted. They're gonna attack Central African Republic. Let's see if the car can still keep extending. And yes, they can. So the car is getting massive, guys. And look who we have again. It's no other than the car and they're gonna attack south and that is republic of congo let's see if they can win yes they can so again the central african republic is extending unfortunately we lost el salvador japan cameroon and congo all of the countries left are in the pinned comment country battle royale part 29 let's see what this video has to offer we have gambia okay that's a small country and they're gonna attack southwest and that is algeria let's see if they can beat algeria no algeria again completely destroys our countries. Wow. Okay, we have Cuba and they're gonna attack West and that is Bahamas. Oh, let's see the first challenge for Bahamas and Bahamas wins. So now they own the Cuba Island as well. Wow, and now it's Bahamas turn again, just like the last video. They're gonna attack also Southeast and that is exactly Kiribati. They like aimed for it. Let's see if they can win. No, they can't. So Kiribati is now the biggest country in the world. They probably have more handsome beaches. And the final two countries are gonna be Fiji and Tuvalu. They're gonna attack these sides. So Tuvalu is attacking Venezuela and Fiji is attacking Kiribati. And both of them did not win. And I just realized that Venezuela takes all of South America now. In part 29, we say goodbye to Fiji, Tuvalu, Gambia, Bahamas, and Cuba. Country Battle Royale, part 30. Wow, we're already at the part 30 and we're starting with a country that everyone wants in my comments. It's Netherlands and they attack San Marino. Let's see if they can win. Yes, they can. So just like that, 
Netherlands is now in the whole of Western Europe. We have Lesotho and actually no matter what they attack Kiribati, the largest country in the world. Let's see if they can win. Yes, they can. So now Lesotho is the largest country in the world. Now we have Mongolia, another enormous country. And they're gonna attack East. I'm gonna let someone explain it. the image. It goes through this island. It goes through this island. It goes like this. It hits Alaska. Yeah, that was someone from my Discord. And they actually win. So look at Mongolia. Mongolia is now the largest country by far. History is repeating itself. The last country is Jamaica, and they're gonna attack south, and that is Venezuela. Let's see if they can win. No, they can't. Wow, so much action in this Today video. Today we lost Kiribati, Lesotho, San Marino, and Jamaica. And the largest country switched three times. Country Battle Royale, part 31. Let's see what this video has to offer. We start with Tanzania and they're gonna attack west and that is Algeria. Algeria is massive, it's on three different continents. Let's see if they can win. Yes, they can. Wow, so Algeria probably won like their sixth battle. Oh my god, we have Palau and Palau is gonna attack east. We go through the ocean and that is Hawaiian Islands which belongs to Mongolia. Let's see if Palau can win. Well, 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 Mongolia's supremacy finally comes to an end. Press F in the chat. We have Haiti, and Haiti is gonna attack West, and guess what? Palau is getting attacked. I'm not gonna be surprised if Haiti wins this. <laughs> yes, they win, so Palau didn't even stay for like a, a round. <laughs> we have Bhutan, Bhutan is the last country, and they're gonna attack Kuwait. Oh my god. Kuwait is the country with the most wins in this series. Let's see if they can win again. This seems like it's made up, but Kuwait is... Is invincible guys 53 countries are left country battle royale part 42 so we have a month of these videos and we're starting with switzerland you know it's another month if there are switzerland we're gonna attack east and that is exactly montenegro it's not netherlands and they actually won so they don't want to fight netherlands i guess that's the logic congratulations switzerland we have georgia bro this video is full with countries that people keep asking for they're gonna attack south and that is cyprus let's see if georgia can win Let's see, drum rolls, yes they can. Wow, so Georgia used their wine and now they pretty much own all of Turkey. Wow, Switzerland again. And of course, they're attacking Netherlands, guys. This is getting cursed, but let's see if Switzerland can win, they can. Wow, I feel so bad for the Dutch people. At the end of the day, this was an insane battle. Well, we have Slovakia, another country that people keep asking for. And guess who they attack? They attack Switzerland again. I swear, if Switzerland wins for the third time in a row, they are unstoppable. Wow. Switzerland absolutely dominated this part. Country Battle Royale, part 33. The first country is gonna be Somalia, okay, a country that has a coastline, and they're gonna attack Northeast. That is Kuwait. Kuwait won seven battles. Let's see if they can win this one. Oh, well, everything comes to an end. Rip Kuwait. Switzerland again, you guessed it. And they're attacking Algeria. This is the biggest battle so far in this country battle royale. Let's see who wins. It is Switzerland. So Switzerland now owns Greenland and they also own some territories in Africa. And guess who we have next? It's India. And without a doubt, they are creating their old empire. They are actually wanting to do that. Let's see if Myanmar are gonna lose. Yes. <laughs> so they pretty much created that empire they used to have. And the last country is Kazakhstan. And Kazakhstan is gonna attack West. That is Haiti. Kazakhstan finally gets involved. Let's see if they can win. And unfortunately, they can't. Wow, I feel so bad. Today we lost massive empires like Kuwait, Algeria, Myanmar, and Kazakhstan. Country Battle Royale, part 34. Let's see if Switzerland is gonna get involved in this one. We have Guyana, and Guyana is gonna attack East, and guess who that is? That is Switzerland, because they won that Guyana. Let's see if uh, they can take all of Guyana. Yes, they can. So Switzerland again wins back to back. We have Uruguay. Okay, Uruguay is pretty much the last country in South America, and they're gonna attack Switzerland again. Let's see if Switzerland can win. Yes, they can. Is this even a surprise at this point? And now we have Venezuela. I swear, if Venezuela attacks Switzerland, I am done. Okay, never mind. They're attacking Haiti, the largest country in the world. Let's see if they can use their barrels and convince the Haitini people. No, they can't. So Haiti is on all continents. This is the first country to do so. And the last country is Gabon, and Gabon is gonna attack Central African Republic. Let's see if the car can win. Yep, they keep extending. We are down to the last 40 countries. Today we'll ask Gabon, Venezuela, Guyana, and Uruguay. Country Battle Royale, part 45. Let's see the first country, and it's gonna be Kosovo. Someone in my Discord predicted it. They're gonna attack Southeast, 
and that is North Macedonia. Let's see if they're gonna win. Yes, they will. So now, unfortunately, the Macedonian Empire is gone. So I know if it's India, maybe it's Philippines. Oh, <laughs> no way, no way, no way. <laughs> So, I actually predicted it. I can't believe it. Anyways, they're attacking Somalia. Let's see if India are gonna use their mangoes to win against the pirates. And it worked out. They convinced the pirates to give all of that land. We have Timor Leste. And Timor Leste is gonna attack East. Which means it's Indonesia. It's gonna be a full yes video. Okay. Wow, my Discord server turned into Vanga for one video. The final country is Benin and they're gonna attack the car. Let's see if the car can win. Wow, are you kidding me? Well, the car is gone. In the last video, we had only no's, but this video was full of yeses. These four countries are now gone. Country Battle Royale, part 46. To the Filipino fans, Philippines is involved in this one. We have Belize and Belize is gonna attack East and that is Nicaragua. Nicaragua won three battles, but unfortunately their streak comes to an end, so Belize is now extending in the Central America. Now we'll have Antigua and Barbuda, someone in my comments kept asking for it, and they're gonna attack Haiti, the largest country in the world, but they lose. Here is where it actually starts to get interesting. We have Ukraine, and Ukraine is gonna attack the ex-Russia territory, which is Haiti, and they actually win. So now Ukraine is the only country that is on four different continents and is the largest one by far. And here we go, it's Philippines, the time has come. They are gonna attack Malaysia, another country that hasn't been involved yet, and uh, it goes to Malaysia. Well, the comments are gonna be filled with it's time to unfollow, but if you're a Jika Chad, you will never unfollow me. We are down to the last 43 countries. Country Battle Royale, part 47. Wow, we're getting closer and closer to the end, and we're starting with India, and guess who they are attacking? They're attacking Ukraine. Let's see if Ukraine are gonna use their F-16s to win, and yes they did, they just conquered like 3 billion people, and now Ukraine, it's the whole world basically. Cape Verde, let's see which side they're gonna attack, and they're gonna attack Ukraine again, let's see if the South American Ukraine is gonna win this one, and they did. We have Eswatini, the country that is big brain from like part 3, and they're also gonna attack Ukraine. Now, let's see if Eswatini are gonna use their brains and actually win, and turns out I was right. I don't know how Eswatini keeps winning these insane battles, but now they took over the world. And the last country is gonna be Malta, and they're gonna attack North, and that is Switzerland. It's gonna be a no, right? Switzerland is invincible. Oh! Oh my god, well, 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 this video is insane. Today we lost some winning contestants, that being Ukraine, India, Switzerland, and Cape Verde. Country Battle Royale, part 38. Let's see for how long Eswatini is still gonna be alive. We have New Zealand, okay, a brand new country, and they're gonna attack East. Oh my god, that is a lot of map, but they attack Eswatini, and well, Eswatini wins. So, to my New Zealand fans, your Kiwi that I help you guys. Now we have Eswatini, and Eswatini is gonna attack Zimbabwe. And Another country that hasn't been involved yet, but Eswatini wins again, so they take Zimbabwe. We have Benin, Benin is pretty large in Central Africa, and they're gonna attack Malta, the largest country in Europe. Let's see who's gonna win, it is Malta. Wow, so Malta now has a connection within Africa as well, just like in Europe. And the final country is gonna be Malta, so close to Sweden, a lot of you guys were probably crying. But they are attacking Eswatini. This is by far the biggest battle in this video. Let's see who wins. But it is Malta. Malta used their bitches. And now they own the entirety of the world, basically. In this video, we lost the Kiwi Land, Zimbabwe, Benin, and Eswatini. Country Battle Royale, part 39. This part is very intriguing. Make sure you watch it till the end. You can already see we're starting with Kyrgyzstan. No matter what, they attack Malta. So let's see if they will still be landlocked. And no, they are not gonna be landlocked. They took the entirety of the world, basically. So we say goodbye to Malta. We have Malaysia, the country that won against the Philippines. And they're attacking Timor-Leste, which is basically Indonesia. Let's see if they win. Yes, they do. So now Malaysia is now officially in Asia and a part of Oceania. And yes, we have again, it's Malaysia. Why is this happening in every video? A country gets chosen two times. They are attacking Kyrgyzstan. Let's see if Malaysia wins and well, Kyrgyzstan is more powerful. Damn. We have Djibouti. Djibouti is gonna attack East. Let's see if Djibouti are gonna use their peaches and win. And yes, they didn't win. So it's a yes and moment. Kyrgyzstan. Damn, it came from nowhere. This guy correctly predicted it. In this video, we lost Malta, Malaysia, Timor-Leste, and Djibouti. Country Battle Royale, part 40. 
Wow, five more parts are left and we're ending this series. We start with Belarus, the last country that has a mini vault in Europe and they're attacking Kyrgyzstan. Let's see if Belarus are gonna use their tractors and yes, it worked out. So Kyrgyzstan's supremacy unfortunately ended from the last video. Now we have Singapore, okay, two countries that haven't been involved yet, that's a good start. They're gonna attack West and no matter what, that's actually Belarus. So let's see if they can win against Belarus. Nope. And while their wealth didn't actually convince Belarus, so Belarus continues to dominate the world. Now we have the Solomon Islands and Solomon Islands is gonna attack North and that is Belarus again. Let's see if Belarus can win for the third time in a row in this video. Yes, okay. <laughs> Wow, and the last country is Mauritius. Okay, only countries that have a mini vault. That's a good sign. And they're attacking Iceland, which is Belarus. Let's see if Lukashenko is gonna win against the mighty Mauritius, but it didn't work out. So Mauritius just took over the world. 18 countries are now left. What country do you think will win? Let me know in the comments. Country Battle Royale, part 41. It's the time that we are down to the last 16 countries. We start with Lebanon, Lebanon is gonna attack East, and that is Georgia. Let's see if Georgia is gonna use their wine and win. And it worked out. People kept saying it is chilling, but unfortunately it isn't anymore. Ho ho ho, Sweden. Sweden, oh my god, they're attacking Mauritius. Let's see if Sweden are gonna use their Minecraft empire to win against Mauritius. And it worked out, so Sweden now owns the entirety of the world, basically. We have Kosovo, and please don't tell me they're gonna attack North. But that's exactly what happened. So this is the battle that is gonna represent the last country in Europe. And it goes to Kosovo. Wow, I actually rooted for Sweden, but apparently Kosovo now takes the world. And the last country is gonna be Georgia. Okay, Georgia two times in the video. And look at that, they barely avoid Kosovo. Let's see if they're gonna win against the Pyramids. Oh my god, it actually worked. So Georgia now took Egypt's territory. I guess the mummies just got drunk by Georgia's wine. Country Battle Royale, part 42. 14 more countries and we're done. We're starting with Palestine, a brand new country, and they're gonna attack East, which is Georgia. Let's see if Palestine is gonna fall a victim to the vine. And they didn't, so Palestine now has a humongous territory. Now we have Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau has been involved a lot of times. And look at that, they exactly attacked Togo. Is that a tactic they would use? No, apparently Togo wins. So just like that, Togo now took some territory in the western part of Africa. Now we have the last country in Europe, which is Kosovo. And let's see which side Kosovo is gonna attack. It seems like they're gonna attack North, so that exactly hits Palestine. So who would have guessed that we have a battle between two partially recognized countries? But Palestine wins, so Palestine just took the entire world. The last country is gonna be South Sudan, and South Sudan is gonna attack East, which is Palestine. Bro, we have two controversial countries, but Palestine won. Now we are officially down to the last 10 countries. Who's gonna win? Country Battle Royale, part 43. 10 more countries and we come to an end. We start with Comoros, okay, a small country, and they're gonna attack West, which is Palestine, which is pretty much the whole world. Let's see if Comoros are gonna be a surprise, and no, they're not gonna be. So Palestine continues to win. We have Samo, Tome, and Principe, and they're gonna attack North, which is again Palestine. Let's see if Palestine is gonna win again, and that's exactly what happens. This is their fourth win in a row. The next country is Brunei, and Brunei is gonna attack East, which is Palestine. Let's see if Palestine is gonna win this one as well. Oh. My. God. Brunei is gone. This is Palestine's fifth win in a row. The last country is Togo, and Togo is also gonna attack Palestine. I swear to God, if Palestine also wins this one. Palestine was chilling for 42 parts, and now they are unstoppable. Six more countries are now left. Who is gonna win, guys? Country Battle Royale, part 44. You know it's different if you hear this music. This is the semi-finals, guys. St. Vincent and the Grenadines are gonna attack North, which is Palestine. And while well, Palestine's supremacy comes to an end, so St. Vincent and the Grenadines now took over the world, but they're gonna get attacked no matter what anyways. So we have South Korea, okay, and they're gonna attack East, which is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Let's see if South Korea is gonna win. That's exactly what happened. They use their Squid Game powers and now they own the entirety of the world. But they have to win four more battles to win this country battle royale. We have Eritrea and again they're gonna attack South Korea. Let's see if Eritrea is gonna win against the Squid Game gods. And well, yeah, they did. The last video was full of no's, but this video is full of yeses. And now we have Belize, Ivory Coast, and Eritrea. Who's gonna win? We have Ivory Coast. And Ivory Coast is gonna attack Eritrea. Let's see what happens. 
is gonna win, Belize or Ivory Coast? Come back tomorrow to find out. Country Battle Royale, the finale. Here we are, we have the final battle between Belize and Ivory Coast. Let's have a quick recap before we start. So Belize got involved in part 36 and they won against Nicaragua. And meanwhile, Ivory Coast was just chilling and came out of nowhere in part 44 and now they are against Belize. Without any further ado, let's get right into it. And wow, it's gonna be Ivory Coast again. Fun fact about Ivory Coast, it was the last untouched country. And of course, they are attacking Belize. So the battle has finally come, guys. Without any interruptions, let's see who wins. It is Ivory Coast. They used their cocoa beans and now they have won the country battle royale. Wow, what a series. It took four months but we finally came to an end and it seems like Ivory Coast has won. The full video of this series is on my YouTube channel. What should I do next?